most likely that Ray will be seduced to the dark side. You see, a lot of people are saying that. A lot of people are um, saying that because of the trailer where Ray says, I need someone to show me my place in all this. And then Kylo Ren holds his hand out. I've got a couple of theories, okay? Going on here. My first theory is that she's actually talking to Luke at this point. Who is showing her through the Force flashback of when the Jedi Order was destroyed, destroyed. And that clip of Kylo Ren might actually be him reaching out to Luke to say, join me, before Luke turned him away and he went to the First Order. My second theory is that Kylo Ren might actually reject the dark side himself. Because earlier in the trailer, it shows him preparing to destroy a star um, ship, a spaceship, with uh, Leia on it, his mother. And it looks like he can't bring himself to do it. And Leia, despite Carrie Fisher's um, untimely death, rest in peace Carrie Fisher, has been confirmed to apparently be in episode 9. I don't know if they're going to rewrite it now that Carrie Fisher's died. Though, there's a good chance though that what they'll do is uh, what they did with Tarkin in Rogue One. And that's CGI her in and get a very good voice actor in to uh, make a close match. If she actually is going to be in episode 9, then that suggests she isn't killed off in episode 8. Which suggests that maybe Snoke reject uh, Snoke like because yeah he killed his father, great. But he always he probably felt detached from his father. Whereas obviously your bond with your mother is a lot stronger a lot of the time. He can't bring himself to kill his mother, therefore he can't become a Sith, therefore he gets rejected by Snoke. Therefore, he reconnects with his mother and perhaps turns light again. Both of them, I think, are a bit far-fetched. Both my babies, to be honest. But, I don't think Rey's going to turn to the dark side. Because the thing is, it's called The Last Jedi. I think it's more likely that Rey comes to her senses, rejects the dark side. And Luke passes, maybe? I'm going to be really upset if they kill off Luke Skywalker. But I wouldn't be surprised. God, you should have... Force Awakens was spoiled for me. My ex, my now ex-girlfriend, before we went to see it, had been looking up spoilers and told me that um, Han Solo dies the day before we were meant to see it. But I guarantee you that if I had not known that Han Solo was going to die, I mean, I would have seen it coming a mile off. He's walking straight towards Kylo Ren. They're on an isolated bridge above a huge gap. Of course, he's going to get killed here. But, I would have been... I probably would have cried, to be honest. And Solo is genuinely one of my two favourite characters. But I could understand why they killed him off. It... Shiny Chansey! Oh! Live Shiny Chansey, guys! Oh! <laughs> Yes! Now, here's the issue. Here is the issue. This is the Safari Zone. Sorry about that, guys. Um, as I was saying, though, before I was interrupted, this is the safari zone. There's a very good chance this chance he's going to run away. There's a very good chance that my first live shiny is, in fact, going to be a fail. 
the only thing we can do about it is throw balls and hope for the best. I have found three shiny chanties in the throw zone before and they've all ran away. I wouldn't be surprised if it runs right now to be honest. Ooh, interesting, okay, and stayed. Yep, okay. It's probably gonna run. Ah, this is actually the longest that any Safari Zone Shiny has ever left, uh, stayed for me. Three turns. So, across four chances, this will now be my eighth ball in total. Um, so, one in 16 chance it stays in the Safari Ball. It's great ball odds. And, oh, it's still on the screen. That's quite nice. Ah. I genuinely think it's going to run away. Like, right now. Wow, okay. That, that is actually shocking. Like, I've never seen a shiny stay on my game more than two turns. Five is incredible for me. Six. I'm, I'm starting to think this is going to be like Houndoom Slowbro, where it stayed like 16 turns and then ran away. Having said that, it's probably going to run right now, isn't it? How is this staying so long? This never happens for me. It's nice that we actually found a shiny on stream, though. That, that is a pretty cool thing. I do apologise again, guys, for my dad telling me off um, a moment ago and me having to mute my mic. Um, I was a bit loud. I apparently scared the crap out of the dog, so... Oops. But, uh, we good. We good. Might as well continue hunting Zapdos while we're at it as well. Got some nice chill music going. It's all good. Ten. This this is actually really incredible for a chance he's staying ten turns. So even if it does run away, I'm just impressed that it's stayed so long. 11 turns, 11. This might end up being the longest chancy fail of all time. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a chancy fail last longer than this anyway. 12 turns, 12. It's quite nice, isn't it? 12 turns with a chancy. One, two, three. Ah, three, fa three shake fake, man. Three shake fake. And it's fled. Ah, what a pity. What an absolute pity. That is gutting. That is absolutely gutting. Just to show, by the way, that there are no cheat devices in this console. And there is yet another standard pink chancy. That is an absolute pity. I had a good feeling about tonight. I had a good feeling we'd find a shiny. I just didn't want it to be another fail. Fortunately, that is the case, though. Still, life goes on. We continue hunting. 